Hi everyone, unfortunately, I'm still not feeling very well, which means I'm still using a voice cloning tool. Sorry if I keep sounding weird, nothing much I can do about it since anytime I try to talk for more than a minute, I start coughing and dying. Oh well, the show must go on. Usually my channel covers topics like writing, books, body doubling, and general cozy content, but as this month is Vlogoween, I'm sending out more videos than my usual three per week goal, and that means you get more insight into other areas of my life. Originally, today's video would have been a body composition video. I wanted to update y'all on my muscle growth since starting testosterone. I did one of these in 2018, a year before I started T, and again in 2020. I was supposed to do one in 2022, but I did not. So here we are in 2024, and I'm going to do it, I swear, just not right now. Right now, I figured, is a good time to talk about my garden and give you all an update on that. I bought my garden system in 2022, and I have used it to grow edible plants and herbs ever since. This video shows some growing time lapses, some pictures of the garden itself, and some images of my first harvest and my most recent harvest. We were living in Las Vegas when I got this super cool tool and it has supplemented our diet ever since. The garden system has a lot of paid add-ons you can use. I don't use them though. I buy seeds once per year and restock what needs restocking or even try new plants if it seems like I'll use them. When we moved from Las Vegas to New Mexico, I lost all of the plants I'd been growing. It was a bummer because I finally had started to see fruit on my strawberry plants. In New Mexico, I managed to grow very many peas and peppers. Unfortunately, those plants all died en route to Washington. When we finally got into our new place, I started over with my backup seeds. They took surprisingly well to the cooler climate. We had been here a little while when, during a power outage in the winter, my tanks shorted out and I needed lid replacements. The lids are where all the electrical components are stored. Few of my plants survived. I replaced one of the lids but ran out of steam before replacing the other. When I finally did replace the other lid, which you'll see in the next Fine I'll Do It Friday video, the only plants that survived were some lettuce types, a rosemary, a sage, a jalapeno pepper plant, an eggplant that had yet to produce any fruit, and a very active goliath pepper plant. The lettuces had been serving us for about a year by the time I got around to replacing that second lid and had started to taste too bitter. My partner and I eat from them almost daily and they went to seed at least once during that time. I went ahead and got rid of them. I decided to keep the pepper plants, the rosemary, and the sage in one garden and use the other one as a nursery for the next generation of plants. I planted the remaining lettuce seeds and ordered some new plants. I'm growing some edible flowers this year. In 2022, I had received some calendula seeds from the company and they thrived, so I'm excited to see how these flowers do. I'm also restocking on herbs. I really feel like one can never have enough basil rosemary, and sage in their garden, so I ordered more of those. The peppers continue to produce amazing fruit, and excitingly, I finally have my first eggplant. I've never eaten eggplant before, but I'm excited to try it. I love the idea of having a wall of edible plants in any home I make. I think everyone should have access to something like that. The gardens are great for me as a military spouse because I can take them anywhere we move, regardless of climate. They keep producing fresh food for us in winter, and while the maintenance can be a little tedious, it's worth it overall to keep having fresh food available year round. In the past weeks, some of my plants began to show their true leaves, so I've moved them out of the nursery and over to the garden that has plant food in its water. I'm very excited for my partner to return home from his deployment to see a whole new variety of plants for his daily salads. That's all for now. If you like what you saw today and you wanna see more, then like, share, comment, subscribe, and check out my Patreon in the link below. Stay tuned through the end credits for some important announcements and to see the list of Patreon supporters. Someday little Jews will light the sky And I'll look up at it and think of you, my friend And though you are far beyond my eye The math says that I'll see you
Hey there, thanks for watching today's video. In case you haven't heard, I recently released a set of new and old short stories through Storydown Publications' annual thriller anthology, Distant Tales. This year's publication is titled Distant Tales Second Chapter, and I would love it if you would check it out. I did the editing and formatting on this thing, and I'm super proud of how it turned out. And of course, it has some amazing stories that will definitely get your blood pumping for the holiday season. As a side note, if you're an author who's looking for community, guidance, or publishing services, feel free to check out Story Den Publications. I work with them as an editor and formatter on a regular basis, and the founder, Tai Hakobo, is a close personal friend of mine, and I really believe in what she's trying to do. Her goal is really just to make indie authors' dreams come true at an affordable rate with high-quality services, so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, check them out at the link below in the description. Thanks, and have a great day.